Welcome guys, this is Fabrizio Romano with a new YouTube video. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Football season is back after the World Cup and all you want is to watch your team's new signings, but you are traveling and struggling to watch the games on your devices. Not a problem now with NordVPN because you can switch your virtual location to a country showing the game whilst having military grade security on your device. NordVPN online security starts with one click, protect your devices and never miss your team play again. NordVPN is the price of a cup of coffee a month. Grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash here we go to get a huge discount of your NordVPN plan plus a bonus gift. It's completely risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The link is in the description below. Here we go. And so guys, crazy night I mentioned because it was a really tense Monday for Chelsea on the Enzo Fernandez deal. Tense Monday and now it's time to understand what happens on the deadline day because Chelsea wanted to get the deal almost done. I say almost because of course they were not expecting to sign the documents and complete the medicals on Monday, but they wanted to have the final agreement with Benfica on Monday night. And then what happened after a really positive day of conversations between Chelsea, agents and Benfica, they were waiting for the final step, the green light from Benfica president Manuel Ricosta. And during the night, still no green light from Benfica. Manuel Ricosta, Benfica president, after meeting with Chelsea and discussing with Chelsea about the deal through intermediaries too, of course, during Monday, uh, what happened is that during the night he had a meeting, an internal meeting, with uh, other Benfica people to decide and he didn't approve the deal yet. I say yet because conversations will continue on the deadline day between Chelsea and Benfica to understand if there is a way to get this Enzo Fernandez deal done. It's more than four weeks negotiating with some moments uh, really tense, with some moments really positive, with some weeks in complete standby. So really difficult deal. But what's going on is that now Manuel Ricosta has to decide and at the moment there is still no green light. So it was a tense night of negotiations because Chelsea wanted to get everything done during the night and then to bring Enzo to London to do the medical test in the morning. But they are still waiting for Ricosta to approve. So I will keep you posted. Remember, Chelsea bid 120 million euros paid in installments. Then on Barcelona, guys, uh, they made the bid for Araujo, this right back of Los Angeles Galaxy. Opening bid was turned down. They did a second bid. There is a loan paying a loan fee plus a buy option. This is how Barcelona will try to sign this boy, Julian Araujo, from Los Angeles Galaxy. He will be the replacement for Bellerin, who is going to Sporting to replace Pedro Porro, who is new Tottenham player. And so what's happening? That now Los Angeles Galaxy have to decide. Araujo is pushing because he wants to go to Barcelona, but Los Angeles Galaxy want a permanent transfer or at the moment it's really difficult to approve the deal on loan with just a buy option, not mandatory. So keep an eye on Araujo for this deadline day. Barcelona already wanted him in the summer deadline day and that did, didn't happen. On Sofia Amrabat, I see many rumors, many of you asking me, because it's true that Barcelona had some conversations and are interested in Amrabat. They love the player. They would love to sign Amrabat on loan with buy option. But the reality is that Fiorentina at the moment, then we will follow during the day, but the first reaction from Fiorentina is that they have no intention to let the player leave on loan because they consider him a player for 40 million euros. So to accept a loan deal would be really complicated on deadline day. We will follow that one, but at the moment, it looks really difficult also because Fiorentina president Commisso is a big fan of Amrabat and when some clubs approach Fiorentina, they always ask it for 35, 40 million euros. And then, guys, it's really important to mention Ibrahima Bamba, this talented central midfielder of Vittorio Guimaraes. There were some rumors in the night of a deal almost agreed with Arsenal for a deal um, to be completed for next summer, so to sign a player now, let him stay on loan to Vittoria Guimaraes and then let him join in the summer, I told you this is not true. There is no agreement between Arsenal and Vittoria Guimaraes. Arsenal are not actively working to sign Ibrahim Abamba. They know the player, they appreciate him, but nothing else. There is no agreement at all, not for now, not for the summer. Ibrahim Abamba is available on the market. He's available not for 15 million euros, as you see around in these reports, but the value, I'm told, is 7, 8 million euros. So, interesting opportunity, player already with the Italian national team with Mancini. Keep an eye on him, but with Arsenal at the moment there is nothing ongoing while I'm speaking. 
And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories. And so Fernandez, Ibrahima Bomba, but also Barcelona with Araujo and Abrabat. I wait for your opinion here in the comments. Like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel because it's gonna be a crazy day and we will leave it. Yeah, on YouTube. Ciao.